You know, the one thing we need to do is we need to ask ourselves, what do we do? How are we to think when the criminals are running the asylum? Let me introduce a word to you. Vitriol. All right. In other words, if you are of the democratic persuasion, if you are of the liberal persuasion, you're going to take my comments as abusive. Uh, you're going to think that I'm a using very venomous language. Uh, you're going to think that I have a very nasty disposition and I'm very nasty with my criticism of facts. And given recent events, what I'm going to say is rightfully so deserving. It's obvious. And unless you are blind in one eye and can't see out the other, it's obvious that we live in a country that election fraud is running rampant. It's also painfully obvious is that the question has to come to mind with all of the offended people with their emotions. I mean, I've literally been seeing people literally crying because they know that the Democratic nomination has actually literally been co-opted and literally have been stolen from Bernie Sanders. What I'm doing more than anything is I'm paying attention to the posture of Bernie Sanders. You have to understand, when all these campaign contributions come in and, and they're to the tunes of hundreds of millions of dollars, the people that run for this public office, they are in a win-win and a win-all situation right here because once they get out of public office and everything, then those campaign contributions goes into their <clears throat> retirement fund. If people had more faith in the creator of the universe, almighty Yahweh, than they do the election, or I like to say the selection system of the United States of America, I think we'd be better off as a country. But I think since we have turned our backs as a whole, as a whole, because I haven't. But I think that since as a whole, we have literally turned our backs on the commandments. We've turned our backs on the morality that the Bible speaks about. All the pain and all the suffering that we experience in this country is warranted. It, it, it really is. You think about this. There is um, this Democratic chair that used to be there by the name of Debbie Watzerman Schultz. She immediately resigned and then was immediately hired by the Clintons. Now, I know that many of you do not know what gangsters are. Because you, you think that gangsters are the ones who's running alcohol. Um, in, 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 the, in the old days and ones who robbed banks and everything else. But what do you do about these modern day gangsters that wear suit and ties, that wear skirts and dresses, where now the women are wearing pants? Um, and, and, and then what do you do when they champion themselves as they are the epitome of righteousness, the sum of all wisdom, and, and, and that China, only China and only Russia uh, and only Iran and all these other countries, they are corrupt to the zenith. And what do you do when you have these people who are transgressors, who are workers of iniquity, who, who are sin personified? And when they get up in front of the camera, they, 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 they talk to all of us as if, as if, as if that they are the be all and the end all and they're telling us the truth and everybody else is lying. And then the very people who are patriots, the very people who are literally heroes, Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, for blowing the whistle on a corrupt system, the workers of iniquity, the wicked ones point the finger at them because they're in a position of power and you got to wonder nowadays, how did they get there? It's got to be because of some perks from the good old boys. Are the people starting to feel the burn? <laughs> let, me, let me keep a straight face. Let me look, look, look. We have to acknowledge that we live in a total different country 
than what the founding fathers intended for us to be. We have to admit that we have been trumped and we have been hijacked by special interests. We have been sold out. We have people up here politically grandstanding and stage playing while they sling mud back at each other. It, it's, it's better than a Hollywood movie. We have to actually admit that we, we do not have a country nor a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. It's just the truth. It, it, it's a painful truth, and we just literally have to admit it. Now, there was a huge walkout that the news media, look at this, you're only getting it from the secondary sources, but not the mainstream. You know, the Democratic National Party is trying to set up and make you think we're moving forward, everything is all fine, and it's not as bad as you think it is. But when these speakers get up to speak and you see the divide in the crowd, you can tell that people are literally upset. But but you know what? What's amazing me is, is that we can cry out and we can have an outcry, the people. And still, these people like Hillary Clinton and all, they dig in, they entrench themselves, and she's still going to parade herself up on the stage and act as if ain't nothing wrong. And you're going to have all these angry people and stuff. And you're going to have some people that they are just so corrupt as well that no matter what Hillary Clinton does, no matter what the Democratic National Party does, no matter what they say and do, they are right no matter what. And that's how, ah. Oh, I tell you, and, and they're going to act like hey, everything is fine, nothing is wrong, uh, but the truth is, there are people that have walked out in groves. You're going to have delegates, delegates from the Democratic Party that's going to vote for Donald Trump. You're going to have people that's not going to vote at all because they're so offended. You're going to have people that's going to write in Bernie Sanders, and I, I, it kind of makes me wonder, why do they still have loyalty to Bernie Sanders, considering that he is through his support base under the bus as well. Um, you know, can we all agree that there has never been truly a constitutional election in this country, especially in the recent, in the last 50 years? Now there's a spirit out there, there's a spirit out there that, that actually says that, you know, if, if we don't come together and if we continue to keep speaking negative of each other and we fighting each other, we're only going to help Trump. Well, you've already helped Trump <laughs> because of the election fraud. You've already helped Trump because of all the secrecy and the undermining and you didn't think you was ever going to get caught. You know, now if people are going to cheat, lie and steal, they're going to have to use another source to do it. I don't know. I mean, are they going to use the cloud next? I don't know because it seems like that IFBI ain't worth two dead flies. It's our CIA ain't worth two dead flies. Or either they themselves are sold out to the highest bidder. Because if it was, and I'm going to say allegedly, if it was Russia who uncovered all these emails and nobody's denying it, nobody's denying it, and everybody's trying to move on from this. You know, it, it said, well, should not Hillary Clinton automatically be totally disqualified? And should not they just redo the whole entire thing again on the Democratic side just so we can have some fairness in this? They had a woman by the name of Nina Turner that was scheduled to speak. A surrogate. A Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders walked up to her and told her, you cannot speak at this convention. My question to all you out there, why are you Bernie Sanders people so blinded to the facts of what's really truly going on? Huh? I mean, you have to understand, the people that is running this country have been selected by special interest groups they are controlled by the corporations and they have sold themselves like high price whores to the highest bidder. I know it hurts. What we need in this country 
is some comprehensive, and I do mean some comprehensive, not only immigration reform, but we need some comprehensive election reform. Um, and I told you, my answer, my answer is, is that, and of course, the people, like, all you're going to do, look, listen, 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 listen. I, I know I keep jumping thoughts here, but I can't help it. I can't help it. Okay, watch this. The people know that election fraud is taking place at the DNC. And people are walking out by the groves. And you can tell by looking at the seats and stuff. I don't know if they told the people to move down and try to fill it in or what, but you can tell that they're trying to uh, 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 make it seem like there's not this divide like it is, but the camera's just telling the truth for those of us who have discernment and they can see and hear exactly what's going on. But again, it's just like all these other peaceful protests. Nothing changes. You, you go out there, you protest, you lose time from your job, you lose money, you scream, you holler, you shout, you hold your signs up, and then you go away and nothing has changed. These people stay entrenched like a mole and nothing changed. Again, I'm going to say it again. People are so-called no voice, not saying anything. They're protesting and stuff. People are crying alligator tears and stuff. And I'm going to still tell you nothing's going to change because Hillary Clinton is going to parade herself right out there on that stage and act as if, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, thank you for electing me. Thank you. I will represent the Democratic Party. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love like the demon she is. That's why, you know, if people, if you don't understand what I'm saying, go back and look at the old movie by Mel Gibson called Braveheart. If you want to know what's happening in our system today, all you have to do is, is, is pay attention to Edward Longshanks. In that movie, he would tell you clearly what is going on. You watch his actions, his attitude, and how he governs. That's what's happening here in America. Well, guess what, America? I keep telling you, we've been hijacked. And, and you need to know, you need to know that this concept of what we call America, uh, there's powers that be that don't even function like that. Did you know that our country is nothing more than a corporation? Check it out.